All right, guess who's back? And this time we are definitely here for a long and a good time, promise. Okay, it's me and my dead laptop back from the dead, considering my last video was in like March. We're not doing that anymore. I know I say like, I'm gonna upload once a week, but I mean it this time because I'm definitely always like, oh, I want to be like YouTube famous and like have a bunch of subscribers. I can't do that if I upload once every what, four or five months. We're learning though. We have topics now. <laughs> Before we start, let's do some updates, right? So I am a small business owner now. Uh, my business is Glam Factory. Um, I'll drop the Instagram right there. Yeah, um, I sell like sunglasses and COVID-19 masks and hairpins and lip gloss and you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually getting new inventory this month and yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I also started doing nails, which is why I have one hand done but not the other because I'm right handed and I don't feel like practicing on the other hand because I'm just like, they're gonna be nasty. So we're giving myself, myself time to practice on this hand with my right hand because that's what I'm gonna do on my clients. And um, I mean, I'm in school, but is that really an update? Cause I gotta be in school cause I don't wanna make a minimum wage for the rest of my life, so. That's about it. Um, quarantine still ain't shit, so that's what we're doing now. As you probably like read the caption of the video, I'm talking about IUP, my second year experience. Yes. So um, IUP is Indiana University of Pennsylvania, just by the way. I should have worn a shirt. I don't know where they're at, to be honest though. Anyways, so as many of you know, and those who don't know, I go to Cal State Monterey Bay. Mm, it's like five, six hours from LA. Up north, obviously. Um, that's the only exciting thing about CSU and me. Uh, but um, all the CSUs, are like most of them, have this program called the National Student Exchange Program, which I participated in, and I went to school in Pennsylvania for the year. And, um, can we say culture shock? Don't get me wrong, I definitely needed this experience for sure, but uh, damn. Let, let's, before I talk, you know, before I drag them in this video, let's talk about the pros. Now, are there, no, I'm just kidding. IEP was a good school. I mean, nothing's perfect in life and you know, they're trying, I guess. But I had a great roommate. She was so sweet. Um, her parents were super nice. And if you know me, and if you were subscribed before I redid the YouTube channel in like January, um, you know I had awful roommates at CSUMB. They did not clean up, clean up after themselves. They were rude and inconsiderate. They were just awful. I was not oh let me bleep her name out this video I'm so sorry <laughs> she was not um we had separate rooms and everything so that probably played a small part into it but like you know you know yourself you know you if you don't want to be like sleeping in the same room as someone you're not gonna do that so yeah but she if I didn't clean one week she definitely cleaned the next week we can have a schedule or anything um 10 out of 10 for her. She was like, she would like aggressively sing in the shower. Not like early or late or anything. It'd just be like, mm. <laughs> she's jamming in there. <laughs> but like, that wasn't probably, I didn't really care. Uh, her, yeah, her parents were nice. She was nice. Um, 10 out of 10. Nothing really, didn't really have a problem with her. She was great. Um, so that was like, a, that's a pro of IUP. Uh, we had separate rooms. So I was in a, it's called like a semi-private suite because I had my own room, but we share a bathroom and the kitchen area together. So 
whatever again another pro because it was like half of what C of what CSU and B's like private room would cost and I'm just like uh but you know completely different redneck state but whatever mm, IEP is like the party school of Pennsylvania and I did not know that but your girl be drunk was drunk on a freaking Wednesday so <laughs> I mean I'm definitely not complaining about that I definitely had the time of my life um, I had a job, but they made $7.25 an hour. I made nothing, so I wouldn't show up to work sometimes because I'm not making any money. Uh, um, okay, right, I had a job. Good party school, could always find alcohol. Um, oh, I met my boyfriend there, so yes, right? Um, I don't know anything else. IEP is pretty, I will say that. They're really pretty there. Even though it was two degrees, even though it snowed like four inches overnight, it was super pretty there. Um, I'm going to say that's the rest of the pros because I can't seem to think of any. Oh, the um, mental health facilities there, those were great too. Like much better than CSUMB, so yes but i'm about to drag them for so many things so um iup pennsylvania is a red state predominantly white obviously not much diversity i mean considering how many people are there i would i guess they would consider that diversity but being from LA, i do not um they did have more black students on campus than csu and b does so that says a lot about csu and b though but, so one, IEP is in the middle of nowhere. IEP is Indiana University of Pennsylvania in Indiana, Pennsylvania, right? It's like 45 an hour outside of Pittsburgh, but the speed limit on the freeway is like 45 miles an hour. And in LA it's 65, so I mean, it takes a little longer than like an hour sometimes, but the speed limit was a decent speed limit. We would get there sooner. When me and my mom first got there, she was going 75 because the speed limit in LA is 65. You can go 75. It's not an issue. There it was. <laughs> so, yeah, it was in the middle of nowhere. Um, there were a decent amount of people who looked like me <laughs> there. But, uh, whatever. But... Pennsylvania is racist and like that's just a fact like there was my first weekend there there was like a threat of a school shooting and like there was a white kid calling like black men um like the n-word with the hard er so I was like I'll pack my stuff up and be on a plane tomorrow morning don't play with me we're not I No, <laughs> but uh, that was quickly resolved. No, it was not quickly resolved. Let me rephrase that. That was resolved in like three weeks, maybe. Mm, quickly, they said quickly, but that's not. You have a excuse? Me? No. Um, what else happened? My professors first semester well three of them first semester were really nice they were really accommodating because i went home for thanksgiving and i couldn't find like a cheaper plane ticket unless i came back on a tuesday and then like three out of four of them were super super nice the other one she was awful that woman satan i like rated her poorly on rate my professor i don't usually do that like you have to be like a trash or a top tier professor for me to actually go in and rate you because I don't I don't know my experiences haven't been like too good or too bad and I'm just like but that her right there zero out of five on or I, mean, I don't think you can give her zero I think you had to give her like one out of five and she was terrible she was so mean for nothing like you cannot miss class at all I um I got food poisoning one day or did I get food poisoning or did I oh I like ate something I'm allergic to that made me throw up so I went to the health center she was like oh no you're not getting excused 
I took the dean and I got excused, so that was fine. But I have a, a note because you're awful, you're Satan, so I brought you a note. And any other person was like, oh, don't even worry about it. Like, I'll send you the notes, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say her name because, you know, I don't want to get sued or anything. <laughs> but if you want to text me, you know, DM me on Instagram, I'll let you know because she was awful. <laughs> Doesn't deserve a job there. Um... I didn't really have like my next semester one professor okay so when my university when IUP closed they I we were on spring break like it was like directly in the middle of the semester so I actually got to enjoy my spring break so that Thursday of spring break while I was chilling in my sister's apartment um I got an email from IUP saying they were closing for a week I started to freak the hell out because like my flight's on Monday back here what am I supposed to do I didn't go home I live in LA, I'm not, what? And then I call my mom and she's like, okay, like we'll see what we can do about it. That was Thursday, Thursday like afternoon too. So Friday morning, I like get up and I check my email and they're like, oh, we're closing for two weeks actually. So I cancel my flight from New York to Pennsylvania. My mom gets me a flight from New York to LA for the two weeks and I was like, okay, cool, like whatever. Um, I get an email that I like left Sunday. I get an email again on Monday like, oh, actually we're closing like, forget it, like for the rest of the semester, we're going fully online. So come back and get your stuff by Saturday at 5 p.m. I essentially said no, red heart emoji. <laughs> I caught them and everything and I was like, I can't come do that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, there's something in my eye. Okay, we're good. Um, I can't come do that, but thanks for the heads up. I went in May, so whatever. But I emailed the professor and I was like, so your, your book is in my dorm and I have no access to it. He emailed me back and was like, I don't know what to tell you. So I withdrew from his class, obviously. But other than him and that woman, I have pretty good professors. Um, I guess the six that were great, like made it better for those two that weren't, I guess I'll give them a pass, you know? I guess that's okay. Um, do I have any more drags for IUP? Yes, I do. So the students were racist. They may not call it racism, but if you're not black and you say the N word, I'm gonna call you racist, I'm gonna call you all for it. A bunch of them did that. They're like, it's just a word. If I can withhold if I a black person can withhold from saying it, so can you. I don't care that's in a song. If I don't have to say it, neither do you. Simple right was not simple for them but yeah they were some of them were awful some you know non-white people got that you know and it's not that hard to get like I'm not gonna essentially I'm not gonna applaud a fish for swimming but you get my drift um I was almost roofied uh -huh. yes I was so so turning down my computer wasn't actually dead for one but <laughs> that almost being roofied I guess like you could say I was yeah but I was at a party my friend was talking to some guy his friend came over his friend was giving me weird vibes but I thought it was just me because I was drunk or I was kind of tipsy I wasn't really drunk um I bent down to tie my shoe and I saw his friend's like hand go up and I was like I, didn't, I mean, I didn't think anything of it. Uh, I thought he was, you know, minding his business. So I get back up, like, from tying my shoes. I uh, was taking these fat gulps because beer is nasty. And, yeah, I just wanted to be drunk, you know, trying to have a good time. Um, so I took it, like, a fat gulp, and I stopped for a second because beer is nasty. And then a couple minutes later, I, like, felt weird. I was like, mm what the heck and my friend was like you're just drunk and I'm like I'm not drunk like I like come on I've been drunk before like what the heck so I stopped drinking and I like started to feel dizzy and like we went home because I was not feeling good and a couple hours later I threw up a couple hours later I threw up again <laughs> and I was like I'm not drunk like I I know what being drunk feels like so I was like uh and then I threw up the next day at work. A little embarrassing, but I let it go because not the big of a deal, it's just throwing up. 
Um, and then I told someone, I don't know who I was talking to, and they're like, girl, you were roofie. And I'm like, but I didn't pass out, you were like, because you didn't drink that much. Yeah, so we stopped going to that frat house we were at because of that. And because they had other situations go on within that frat house. And uh, yeah, they're apparently known for that. And hmm, we did not know. I'm glad we know now. But um, other than that, I guess I have no more drags for IUP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they would never saw the ground after it snowed or it would take them so long it was no point. But it like snowed four inches overnight one night. And for one I was having, I was like, I went to work, whatever. Um, and then I was like, I had a crappy day at work and I only worked like four hours. <laughs> but I had a crappy four hours, but I had, I had time like to walk from like work to back to my dorm to get some stuff. So I was walking back to my dorm and I slipped in the snow. Did not, did not show up to class that day because I was upset. <laughs> um, other than that, I guess I have no more drags for IEP. They pro I probably do, I just can't think of them all just verbatim right now. I don't know. I definitely complained a lot about this school, but I don't know. I think I like it better than CSU and B. I don't know. It's kind of like comparing oranges and apples, but definitely a great experience. I can't even lie, but yeah. One last thing. This isn't really about IUP. This is about me, I guess. But I'm like pretty sure I had COVID while I was there. <laughs> Let's buckle our seatbelts. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I got back to school on like January 19th and class started the 21st, or I got back the 20th and class started the 22nd. So I obviously flew there. <laughs> um, I was at school for like two weeks and I was fine. And then like that third week, I was I like got really really sick. And I was sick for like a month. And I went to the health center. I thought it was mono twice because um, I was we, I was at parties. So I was like drinking after my one friend or my two friends that I went out with. And I was like, crap, I have mono. But like my boyfriend didn't have mono. Like I didn't give him mono. So I was like, I don't know. But I still got two mono tests. I owe them like $70 for all those health fees I accrued. And they're not getting their money. But um anyways but i went back like the third time like after i was like y'all i'm so sick and they had given me steroids the second time and i was like y'all i'm so sick like these steroids did nothing and they're like hmm i don't know then so they ran i don't know what the hell they did. i guess they ran some tests as much many tests as a health campus i mean a health uh whatever they're called <laughs> the health center yeah there we go the health center on campus could run but whatever um and I got like diagnosed with an unidentified viral infection and that's what COVID was at first and I like had a hard time like walking up the eight steps my building had and I was like this is just like the really bad flu which is what people were saying that COVID was at first and she was like you should go to the just go to the hospital I didn't do that. I was not spending hundred dollars to get diagnosed with the flu. Little did I know though. But yeah, my class was like half a mile from like my room. And yeah, it took so long for me to get there because I could not breathe as well as it being cold. I was like, I can't breathe. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, but I got better. I mean, I'm living to tell a story. Um, I'm good now like and I feel super bad because I don't usually miss class like I rarely ever miss class especially if I'm on campus like I don't miss class I only miss class if like for fun stuff like if I'm going out of town or something that's what I save my ab absences for so yeah I did not miss I missed maybe like one class and uh, hmm if you go to IUP and you got COVID and you had class with me, I, I deeply apologize. I'm so sorry, y'all, but I didn't know COVID was not a thing in January, early February. And like, I remember after I got better, my um my friend like FaceTimed me, she goes to Cal State Monterey Bay, and we were like talking about, we, for when we could not pronounce coronavirus, we were like, K 
Karen Neva. I don't know what the hell we were saying, but it was not Corona. <laughs> it, I don't know what was going on, but we were like definitely joking about like, what if you had that? I probably did. Oops. But we're good now. We're better. Like, look at me. Healthy. I don't, I no longer have COVID. We're good. Hopefully you can't get it twice because that was death. <laughs> I, I see why people are like, oh no, this isn't just the flu because that was not just the flu. I was not okay. <laughs> Overall, IUP was a pretty good school. Um, if I had to rate them, I'd give them like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, like, actually maybe like a 7.5 7 out of 10. The racism, you know, really just knocks its rating down. Um, other than that, would I recommend the school to somebody? Probably not. But I, but I would recommend this exchange, like this pro, National Student Exchange Program. I would recommend that for people. That was cool. I did like that. Other than that, I made some great friends. Um, I got to party because CSUMB is not the party scene, not the party school at all. Um, drunk on Wednesday. That's like fine, I never want to have again though. Like, we're growing, we're learning. I never want to do that again. <laughs> I learned from that. Um, and my roommate was great. Like she was cool. Um, seriously, I guess my my good tops my bad in a way. But again, I don't think I would go back because it's hard to get home. Um, Pittsburgh does not fly directly to LAX. So I had to always get a layover flight. Um, and CHMB is obviously closer. Like, I still fly from CHMB. I don't do long car rides. That's not me. Um, so, like, 45 minutes compared to, like, overall, like, six hours in an airplane. And then, like, whatever time my layover time is, I'm okay. But, yeah, we still had a good time. Definitely. Um, I even thought about, like, finishing undergrad there. But then I was like, I can't afford this damn place. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> that thought, like... <laughs> came and went in, in like a couple days maybe a week but overall yeah I did have a really good time there <laughs> okay I hope you guys enjoyed my video um I'm definitely gonna post next week I have like ideas and everything <laughs> that I want to post so subscribe to my channel like and comment um I'll leave my tiktok and my instagram and my business instagram and please give me tiktok famous I've been trying it's just not working please <laughs> All right.